Hello everybody. Uh, I know a lot of you anticipate this video with uh, uh, big interest. Um, I was mentioned the most of the stuff that I'm gonna say in this video and other videos, uh, but never was titled uh, "Divine Timing." Uh, so this video is gonna be particularly focused on the divine timing. And when I said on the divine timing, what the divine timing is. The divine timing is the time when uh, every other resource, every other way of the situation that needs to be uh, made, uh, the situation that's not solved, the situation that's not resolved, uh, it's exhausted. Uh, there is no uh, there is no other resources, there is no other connections, there is no other way of uh, uh, solving the unsolved situation. And this is the moment when uh, the divine time start kicking. And what I mean the divine time start kicking is this is the time when you do the three things. You trust, you surrender, and you let go completely a hundred percent on each one of those categories as a saw of trying you to solve the situation within the 3d through the 3d communications through the 3d way uh, of it um, why did I'm saying this I'm saying this is because of my personal experience as a twin flame I'm talking about that uh, doesn't matter how much I try through friends through uh, co-workers to reach out to her to my twin uh, she denied uh, every communication possible existed uh, on it the only thing that was from her was uh, ice cold coldness uh, but that ice coldness uh, it's inside of her for her as well so it wasn't me and uh, I tried everything that I can to overcome, even I let her go, I even tried to be with others, uh, but nothing happened, simply to understand that she's the one. Now I understand she's the one, I surrender to this part, knowing that she's the one. Uh, now the part of surrendering uh, took me a while, I had to go through the hard way, uh, but finally I got to that point. And when I surrender to that point, uh, the things uh, got in its place. But uh, I wasn't let go 100% out of her because uh, the ego, that little part of the ego was still inside of me. Like uh, somehow you will connect to her, something's gonna happen, something is gonna be there. Uh, some of the people that you know may talk to her, may tell her, may this, may, may, may. And that is again a way of uh, chasing, of control. Until I let it go, uh, I, uh, that was the last part. Uh, I let her go simply because uh, I let her go by the hands of God. Uh, so that's the divine part of let go. You reaching out because uh, there is no other source you can do. And trust. Uh, now about the trust uh, takes a long time and guts you to Go ahead and trust these powers inside of you that your situation with your twin flame is gonna be solved and that's why you need to trust a hundred percent within the divine powers and you have this uh, blind faith and this is how you are tested as a twin flame as a soul you to understand that uh, everything is gonna be okay and you handing over your twin flame to, to the divine powers, to God. And uh, when you do that, uh, here's what's gonna happen, is your fears is gonna trigger it. And let me explain those fears, what they are. The fears that uh, uh, your twin will experience what you did, such as the dark night of the soul, or the dark night of the soul. Those are two different things uh, to remind you the other thing is that uh, her life uh, experiences that from this moment on, now uh, your twin is not going to be anymore dealing with you. Your twin will start dealing with the divine uh, powers directly. 
you will not be involved uh, on this part anymore. Now the divine time is between your twin and God, the divine uh, powers that created these connections between you and her. Like for me, it's me and her. For you, maybe you and him, or him and him, or her and her. There has been situation. There is uh, this uh, connection exists uh, between uh, of uh, souls with the same uh, physical uh, uh, gender, and a lot of the people they will. It can be. It can be. Well, it is what it is, and there is a lot of confusions on that part. But uh, this is the part that when uh, they're from the same sex as physical body. Uh, it's teaching you on a one lesson that uh, at some point in some life probably you as a soul rejected people that may love each other as the same uh, sex so now God's putting you in a situation that uh, well here's your twin and they're the same sex now you understand what that's mean now you will understand what was the love that you rejected two lives or three lives ago or maybe in this lifetime when you rejected people that uh, they were having the same sex and this is why some of the people they have a very hard time because uh, it's a teaching of the soul but again to the, the, the divine timing is the fear is that uh, uh, you have to understand that when you have this trust on a hundred percent what that means to you is uh, you to trust God that God's gonna do whatever it takes uh, to help your twin flame to evolve in the soul. You know, uh, maybe your twin is not gonna learn by the good way, that it's the God's way, and not uh, yours. It's uh, this is the relationship between your twin and God. If she is willing to learn, or he is willing to learn in a good way they will find information they will learn they will start listening the divine powers inside of them and they will learn in a good way and uh, this is the time when you have to have this uh, uh, you're gonna be actually practicing the part of uh, of this 100% trust that uh, as a soul that it doesn't matter what happened uh, it, nothing wrong is gonna happen to your twin uh, it's a soul the soul was not gonna die even if the worst things worst you know um, it's uh, you're never gonna see your twin guess what they're gonna die you're gonna die you're gonna meet them on soul and that is a part that a lot of the people losing power right there a lot of the people they fear this divine timing because it's still this uh, uh, lower energy of uh, what the society teach you well I am under control bullshit you ain't in control there is a divine power that creates the situation around your life that you gain the experiences so you understand how to navigate through life and the real happiness is when you are in alignment with those divine powers then all of a sudden everything is kind of like a shh and that's why you found your peace now um, uh, the divine time it's uh, it's very precious first of all it's a precious for you that you understand it's time for the divine to take over <coughs> that part of understanding of the divine to take over it brows you to this level of soul that uh, you you gain over of uh, learning over the situations that come to you over the uh, situations from others and you come to this point that uh, from now on it's not your business anymore and when it's not your business anymore everything all the pressures all the desires all the intentions uh, from you about your twin uh, they you give over to God so you took all that pressure and tensions you give it over to God and now you work on yourself to help others to get to this position of finding this inner peace inside of you 
finding this unconditional love inside of you because you understand it can help others to understand this uh, uh, relationship and help them out not to suffer because if you have the medicine you understand the medicine on it you actually can go out and share this medicine that is your job as a twin flame you to uh, share your experience you to be out and open and I pushed a lot of twin flames to like hey go out there open it up admit on the public you're a twin flame you see what happened few of you did that uh, part of open themselves up uh, out in the open and what they discover they discover that when they start learning and doing their truth from inside first of all they have this happiness they don't have to hide anymore they've got this uh, incredible intense uh, energy inside of them and brought them to open up inside of the soul much more uh, the open up in uh, uh, of positions that uh, they can express themselves better they can uh, live much better they have no worries like it used to be and they find that their life it's got a little bit more lighter it's not that heavy it's not that uh, uh, thing when they start helping more people then the things even got better and better and better and every day when they live as a souls they become a better life the people though who actually continue to live in a lower case not uh, not helping people, not doing anything, not uh, working on themselves, or not go out and uh, do what's supposed to do, then what they do is they all the time, but deal, this is pressure, deal, this is an intense, deal, this is a, I don't understand this part, deal, I, well, here's the thing, okay? You didn't did the three things, uh, trust, surrender, and let go. I wanna read you, I wanna turn around, and I wanna read you this quote I wrote a long time ago, uh, and um, I'm just going to read it to you so you guys can understand it. Uh, to evolve as a soul, you have to learn to trust the divine powers on the road they lead you. Surrender to the situations they put you in and let go of what holds you down. Do that and you are in the world of unconditional love. And this is again comes from the, those three laws of the, of, uh, the divine uh, on it because that's what gives you their understandings of everything how it works and a lot of the people they don't let go of uh, the old uh, programming and this uh, let go of old programming actually never triggers uh, the divine timing simply because you tell the divine I'm in control I will handle it and divine responds back okay if you think that you can handle it go ahead knock yourself out and that's why one of the people think that uh, they can control their twin and why how to navigate uh, their journey with the twin flames they don't get luck why you cannot go over this part of the divine timing you cannot fully understand this part until you came to the point that a hundred percent you have to trust the divine 100% you have to surrender to the divine and 100% you have to let go to the divine for example my twin right now if she has to be mad at me she's actually going to be mad at God if she has to be angry at me she's going to be angry at God simply because the situation between me and her was created by God what is my fault that uh, she and I we are in love but the situation was the way it was So right now it's between her and God, not me. Right now I give her to, to God. That's it. I. Hey, it's between you two. Figure that out. I give up on you. You. You're dealing with the universe now. I have to do my things. I have to do my job. I have to follow what I was told to do. And what I was told to do, do you go to Argentina? I, I refuse to go to Argentina. We're talking about since Christmas. Since Christmas, I was told, do you Argentina, 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 Argentina. I refused it. Until there was the time that I like, do you? What are you doing? 
you're going to Argentina. That's it. Stop being the senior ego. You want to buy a house? Well, Argentina is more important. So no house. So guess what happens? There were no house, so the money will be used for going to Argentina. So here it is. It is what it is, right? You heard that from me. So this is how uh, I came into this level of uh, understanding that the divine timing and the divine powers, you trust them, you surrender, and let it go, and everything comes in. Now there is a lot of intense energies, uh, and uh, when you trust, surrender, and let go 100%, uh, the intense energies doesn't bother you. Stay in the peace and stay in the uh, level of... Uh, of that uh, alignment with the universe and doesn't matter what's going on you you're that uh, peaceful calm person the energies are not that strong with you simply because whatever come you actually accept it you work it out and then you create the action and the action helps out and then the next one comes in is does the same thing so now you are working with the divine uh, pretty much an automatic uh, um, set up because simply the connection right now it's worked out people can talk to you send you that kind of big uh, text and uh, i read it pretty quick and i can just respond them pretty quick on what's going on but i have so many messages so relax i'll get back to you when i can um but again uh, let me go back to this uh, divine timing you will understand this part of divine timing when uh, you evolve to this position of uh, deep inside of your soul understanding that uh, you have to cooperate with the divine and you have to allow them to do what they have to do to your twin and you you have to remove your own personal desires uh, a lot of the twin flames have a problem with those personal desires a lot of the twin flames they are like uh, well he choose uh, another one he's got a girlfriend or she choose uh, to be with her husband or she choose uh, to do what uh, she want why that happen simply you to understand that uh, the twin flame connection is a soul to soul connection and your twin down the road to understand that uh, what does that mean soul to soul connection what was that uh, powerful thing between you you and them but that is the divine will teach them not you the divine not you i'll repeat again divine is teaching them not you and um a lot of the problems that uh, the twin flames wants to have uh, the physical part uh, they want to have this uh, physical exercise this old uh, belief of uh, she's mine she has to be in my bed or he's mine he has to be in my bed he has to live with me uh, that is the old uh, template uh, stuck uh, position you still have not understand that twin flames is not about the sex twin flames first connection comes in the soul the two soul understand and know and accept each other that they have to be together for a greater purpose of the divine powers not for their sexual desires not for their uh, financial gain not for their any other art links crap we're talking about once they understand that the two hearts getting reconnect again the same as the beginning uh, when the ignition period was ignited that love between the two and the two hearts will understand together with the soul they have to be together and the last part is their bodies will learn to touch each other with everything. That is the magical love. But most of the people are sticking in the first part as the old template that she has to be a beautiful, he has to be uh, this uh, perfect man, he 
he and I, we have to exercise uh, this uh, uh, physical, this sexual part first, and then we're going to be exercising our love. Guess what? You end up with your twin in the physical, the, the tensions inside of the soul is so strong, you cannot even control it. And when you try to have a sex or you try to getting on it because of the intentions of togetherness, guess what? Nothing happened. Or aggravations and they feel pressure to be around you. They don't want to be around you. And usually the man leaves, tries to find somebody else. Why? Simply because the male is not ready. One of you is not ready for this. You guys are on the wrong side of the road. You going up the old template and the soul understand. You too have to understand this is a soul connection. It has nothing to do with what you used to know. And that's why Twin Flame Navigation, it's very hard because you have to change the perspective of everything is upside down. And uh, that's why uh, a lot of you have problem with the divine timing. A lot of you still want to hug your twin, kiss your twin, uh, be with your twin in the physical. But none of you wants to be to do the work within the soul where you have to get first with your twin flame. You are separate in the soul level, and ten in the heart level, and ten you were given a sex, and you were given a body. But guess what? You try to get up the first thing in the body and try to work all the way up, it doesn't work. The way we're separate is the way you're going to be put together back in, first in the soul. So, um, to begin again, uh, this part is, it's all about uh, how you perceive uh, your understanding of soul. And uh, they were asked me today, uh, Dio, how to learn to listen by soul. Hmm, okay. All right, well, thinking about the perspective of how to listen your soul. What would you do if you're an angel? What would you do if you're God? What would you do if uh, you have this uh, uh, God's power to, to have understanding of everything that's going on? What would you use your powers for? If he or she does not want to be with you, who is mad uh, about it? Your soul or your ego? Or if uh, she or he doesn't contact you, who is mad, who is angry? Your soul or your ego? If uh, she or he uh, treats you with silence, Whose fault that is? Your ego or your soul? And you start understanding that uh, as a soul, you have to understand the person out there has got her own ego or his own ego. And they work of uh, this old mentality process. And once you understand, they're learning from the old uh, society based uh, knowledge then you will start gaining understanding is that they have to learn through life of experiences to understand that the first of all their soul and then they are everything else. And uh, a lot of the twin flames have a hard time because they try to point out uh, everything to, to their twin flame. Uh, they try to get everything to their twin flame. Some of the twin flames, they are... Um, um, Tio, but what should I tell him or should I go knock on their door and tell him like listen I need to see you I need to see your eyes I don't know why but I need to I have to be with you some of those uh, twin flames got themselves in troubles simply because not allowing the divine time to work on it see there is a difference between you give up and you allowing the universe to work on it. Okay? 
if you give up on your twin, all of a sudden you give up on them and then the next morning you wake up and their love is much more deeper inside of you. And you're like, what the? Yes, what the? You can't let it go. The more let it go, the more deep uh, goes in. Until you're learning to that position of uh, 100% uh, reaching out, of understanding that uh, you have to hand in over your twin flame situations to the divine. All the love stories, if you take a look at it, um, they were passed to us uh, throughout legends or, or throughout uh, bedtime stories. Uh, they came to this point of the divine timing. All of a sudden, uh, the princess, all of a sudden, it's locked up in the tower and the prince is someplace else and they're completely separate and it feels like everything is just dead. But something happens, some kind of magic happens, something happened because uh, the love that was between them was so powerful some kind of magical uh, mother fairy came on uh, some kind of uh, a wizard came on uh, there was some kind of magical uh, joker came on and he he kind of finally somehow did something uh, some kind of small fairies they comes in did their magic and uh, put the two lovers together. Well, this is how it's explained. It's the teaching about uh, the work of the divine. You to have this blind faith uh, when you are part of that story, to have the blind faith that the divine powers will do whatever it takes uh, you and your twin to be together. That was not... Uh, I don't believe that the situation between me and my twin was just to develop uh, uh, just because of it. Uh, my personal story between me and her, uh, right now helping thousands of people, simply because uh, throughout her and me, with uh, everything, I uh, learned this uh, navigation process. And this is helping those videos, actually helping uh, hundreds of thousands of people right now. And uh, I understand uh, and I am grateful to the divine powers that create the situation because right now uh, this divine timing comes in at the, at the right place of the divine timing. Simply because uh, one of the things needs to be made, they will be made. And I'm going to tell you a little story about time. Ego creates time. Ego wants everything to be on time. And uh, we were in the Bahamas for the very first time on vacation. And um, we had this uh, contract with one of the local guys to take us out an island where the locals celebrate and they actually hang out, they eat their local food um, they don't uh, you know, they're socializing there this is not like uh, it's only for the tourists uh, this is for the tourists to see how the local lives uh, the lifestyle um, the culture to understand so here is, we have this contract so he can come at 6 o'clock, right? And uh, I'm over there with uh, another couple, uh, me and my ex-wife, me and her and another couple. We were all together there, we were waiting for it. So 6.30 passed, 7, 7 o'clock passed, 7.30 passed. Well, of course, Dee was going to be pissed. I was pissed. I was aggravated. I was angry. So finally, he came at 8 o'clock. And I was just right away at him like, What is wrong with you? We are waiting here for two hours. And he just put his smiles on his face. And he's like, Dio, let me teach you something. First of all, you are here on an island. You have nowhere to go. 
Second of all, this is that in America, we have now this time of the time doesn't exist here. We don't have this hurry up. We don't have this. I have to be. We have when I come, I'll come, and when I get there, I'll get there. And this, it's part of our culture. We're not lazy. We just work differently. Now, put that in a perspective as a divine lesson. You are in hurry up with your ego to be together with your twin. But guess what? You are in this earth. You have no place to go. So, when the divine times kick in is when you're ready to be kicked in. When a divine time comes into you and the divine time is going to get started to you, you will know and you will understand. And when the divine times and divine provide the works inside between you and your twin, they will. But you have to do again the three things. You have to trust, you have to surrender, and you have to let go 100% your twin flame situations to the divine. And this is how you trigger the divine timing. You now give the divine their time to spend since you cannot fix your situations with you and your twin. And this is the part of the final surrendering you do, the final trust you do, and the final let go you do. Just so you can be the love you are meant to be. Be love. I hope that video helps you out, and I will be looking for your comments. Thank you so much.